Hey guys, it's Liz here and today I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. I'm really excited about this one because this is going to be 10 things that I learned my freshman year that saved my freshman year. It's going to be mostly like items rather than like tips and tricks. If you guys want a tips and tricks video, I can totally do that. Just leave a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. Um, but today's video is going to be like things, like physical things that helped me save my life my freshman year of college. So if you guys didn't know, I am going to be a sophomore at the University of Louisville. Um, I am from Western New York. I moved all the way to Kentucky by myself to go to college. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a cheerleader and what else? Yeah, um, these are just 10 things that I learned that I purchased or I got or somehow I have in my life that have helped me immensely my freshman year of college. So before we get into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. Alright guys, the number one thing is really a no-brainer. It's coffee. I knew I liked coffee a lot. My senior year of high school, I got Dunkin' almost every day before school. But college, man, those 8 a.m.s, by the way, don't take 8 a.m.s, those 8 a.m.s, I don't think I would have survived if I didn't have coffee. If you have a Starbucks or a coffee shop or like any type of anything on campus and you have like a meal plan or a dining plan or anything that covers that, I would suggest like going to get that before class. But if not, um, I was lucky enough to, I asked for my mom for me a Keurig for my birthday and she got me one of the Keurig minis. I can literally like put a picture up right here. Um, I got the gray one. I got it for my birthday. No, actually I got it for Christmas. And when I tell you I use that almost every day for my 8 a.m.s, it was like insane. <laughs> so I would totally suggest getting a Keurig or something that you can make coffee with. I like my coffee cold. I like iced coffee. So what I would do is I had a mini fridge in my room and I would just, I bought a little cube, ice cube holder. And I literally would just make cubes every day, stick them in the freezer the night before and in the morning they're totally frozen and I can make my iced coffee before class. Um, that was like the biggest thing that saved my life. Life, Like I wouldn't have enough energy if I didn't have coffee. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the computer that you have. So I'm in business school. I'm an accounting major. I have a MacBook Pro and the main reason that I bought a MacBook Pro was for this reason because I wanted to start my YouTube channel again. I wanted to make more videos and everyone knows that iMovie or Final Cut Pro is, can pretty much only be used on a MacBook. So that's why I got the MacBook Pro. Um, but if you are like a business major or like a literal, um, not literal, a liberal arts major, something like that, like literary, um, or honestly even engineering, you're definitely not going to want a MacBook Pro. They're like the worst computer for that kind of thing. Like I'm taking a uh, Microsoft Office class right now, which requires me to download a software that makes it seem like my computer is a Windows computer rather than a MacBook, just so that I can use the correct version of Excel and Access that I need for the class. It's kind of like confusing, but my school offers the virtual lab is what it's called, and my school offers it so I'm able to use it free of charge. But if you are someone that doesn't need like video editing capabilities, I would definitely go for a Windows computer over a MacBook, even though like MacBooks are amazing and everything. Like I love it. I'm I'm completely in love with it, but if that is something that you're looking for, I definitely wouldn't get a MacBook unless you need, you know, there's a certain reason that you want it. So the next thing is also probably a no-brainer, but I would suggest getting wireless headphones. Um, I got AirPods last summer. I bought them and honestly it was probably one of the like, best ideas I've ever done because I use them every day. You wouldn't think that you would use headphones that much, but you, I use them walking in between every class. Anytime I'm walking pretty much by myself to the lunchroom or like the, we call it the sack, which has all the restaurants. Um, if I'm walking to the sack, if I'm walking to my dorm, if I'm doing laundry, like anything, I use my headphones and sometimes it's a little bit, excuse me, it's easier to have them wireless because like, oh, I have the hiccups. <laughs> if you have the wires, it can get caught on things if you're doing something with them or if you're working out, like it can get caught if you're doing any type of arm movement so 
if you do have the option to it's definitely not required at all but if you do have like the option to get wireless headphones i would definitely suggest doing that the next thing is kind of a no-brainer also but a good sturdy water bottle that's not just like a plastic water bottle that you buy from the store i would suggest something that can be reused can be washed can be used many times and that actually has a lot of space in it so that you don't have to fill it up every class or every 15 minutes because you're drinking so much water. You'd be surprised how much water you drink when you're in class, especially if you get bored very easily. For me, that's like the thing. Like if I'm bored, I'll just like grab my water and drink it. Like it's kind of weird, but it's also a good thing unless you don't like to pee, but <laughs> you're drinking a lot of water. So it's a good thing that you're being super hydrated and drinking that much water, but definitely get a reusable water bottle just because it's so much healthier and so much, and you save so much money than buying plastic water bottles. The next thing is going to be sneakers and or Crocs. Um, I wore Crocs like, I want to say probably like 60% of the time in college, especially like in the spring and in the, well, in the spring, my spring got canceled, but in the like early spring when we were still at school and definitely a lot in the fall I wore Crocs and then in the colder months I was wearing sneakers or I would wear my boots but definitely you just want something that you're going to be able to walk long distance in so for me I had a class that was like almost half a mile away from my dorm um at 8 a.m Monday Wednesday Friday first semester so I had to walk 15 minutes to my class every day and I made the mistake the very first day of wearing my Burks that was such a bad idea. I had really bad blisters after that first day and I probably will never wear my Burks for that long of a walk again. Um, so you just want to be careful what shoes you're wearing, especially if you have a lot of classes that are one end of campus to the other. The next thing is a comfortable book bag. Um, it's kind of weird that you think like, oh, I don't really need a book bag. Some people don't use it, but for me, I liked to carry my computer around to every class that I was in and to hold my water bottle and my keys because my keys were connected to my um, AirPods, which I carried with me in my phone, and I just like to have like everything not on my body but in my book bag while I was walking from class to class. It's really up to your own decision if you want to use it or not, but I felt that it was like very productive for me. I was able to hold pens and pencils and paper in my computer and even my iPad once I got my iPad. I was able to hold it on my book bag, but I would suggest getting one that's super comfortable for you because especially when it's super hot out. You're going to be sweating a lot and you're going to get a lot of back sweat. Believe me, you really will if you live in a southern state. Um, it's just really like, you just want something that is very comfortable for you. So the next thing is kind of like weird, but I would definitely suggest getting a rolling laundry basket. I can show you a picture of the one that I have right here, but it's just a plastic laundry basket that's like tall that has wheels on it with a little handle. It came in such great handy when I was doing my laundry on campus. Um, I lived on the second floor and the laundry room was on the first floor but on the opposite side of the building. So I had to walk quite a bit just to get there um, but luckily we had elevators so it wasn't that big of a deal. But I would suggest getting one especially if it's not on your floor and if you have to walk up and down stairs and all kinds of stuff like I would suggest getting um, something that you can carry but also something that has wheels because it's a big help especially when it comes to when you have like so much laundry because you haven't been able to do it for two weeks because you've had finals and tests and exams. So definitely something to think about especially because they're not really that expensive. They're like maybe $15 at Walmart. It's really not that big of a deal but I mean you can use the fabric ones but I found that mine broke really quickly after using it for like a month. The next thing I suggest is having a tall fan, whether that be one of the like skinny ones with the big circle on top that just spins, that oscillates, or um, just like a skinny one, like a, like one that's like a cylinder and that oscillates. You just need a tall fan that oscillates because when I tell you those dorm rooms get hot, even if they have AC in them like ours did, they were still hot. They would only go to like 70. So at night I would still be getting really hot and I'm really glad that I or that my dad actually got this for me. Um, my nice fan, it oscillates, it has different like fan settings, it has different light settings, um, it comes with a remote so you don't even have to get up. It's just really helpful and I would definitely suggest getting a fan especially if you already sleep with one every night anyways. Like there's no point not to get one. Um, but yeah, they're just super helpful and they 
make you feel nice and cool while you're trying to sleep, especially if you like to be cool while you're sleeping. All right, the next thing is extension cords. Now you're probably thinking like, well, I probably will need one, but you'd be surprised how many you will actually need. I had two in my room, um, and that was because I had one that was like kind of stiff, like you could mold it to whatever shape you wanted, and then at the end it had like a little four, um, a little four plug thing that you could plug four different things into. I used that to plug my phone up at night, and then I had my TV, my fan, and my um, fire stick for my TV connected to and then I had another one by my desk that had the charger for my computer like my um, Apple watch charger it had like lights on it it had my I had a diffuser in my room it had that on it so I would definitely suggest getting like two separate ones because one you don't want to short a um, you don't want to short a outlet by using too much power from one outlet so if you can like split your power between two outlets and the last thing is for my friends that are athletes or that spend a lot of time in one certain thing so for me I'm a cheerleader I would consider like I would consider a lot of my friends are cheerleaders if you are in the marching band and a lot of your friends are marching band people if you are I don't know in the honors like in honors and all of your friends are in honors I would suggest getting a friend or a few friends that are outside of that so for me like I lived in honors but I was a cheerleader so all of my honors friends weren't cheerleaders except for one I love her um but all of my like my roommates none of them were cheerleaders none of them played sports and it was honestly like such a good decision to not live with another athlete especially one on your team um, you'd be surprised like how much you vent to them if you become close like me thankfully me my roommate and my sweet sweet mates we all got super close we actually are even living together this year in an apartment so they're all my roommates now but I would just say if you are in something so like specific like a sport or a band not band marching band or anything like that like engineering something that's like rigorous that you're spending a lot of time with the same people get some friends outside of that because it will help so much like if you are struggling and you need someone to talk to you can talk to them they might not know half the things you talk about but they'll still understand and they can respond to you and help you get through the hardest times of that year and it was such a, a big help to have people like that in my life so I'm super thankful for all those people but I'm also thankful for the people that like did both like my friend um Aquasia she literally both her and I were in business honors and cheerleaders we spent a lot of time together but like it was so good to have someone that is also going through the same things I'm going through so kind of get a mix of both and you will be totally fine I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and if you have any suggestions for any video ideas definitely leave them down below as I'm open to anything um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys later bye